Okay, so this video I'm going to be using the Roland GX24. This is our CAM1 plotter cutter CAM machine effectively. And I'm going to be exporting designs from 2D Design uh, to this device. I'm going to talk a little bit about setting it up first. Okay, now as you kind of address the machine, you'll notice there's, there's rollers and there's a little uh, line of uh, I think nylon at the front here effectively this helps us set up where we're going to place our vinyl so I've got some self ad ad adhesive vinyl sheet here this is cut from a roll I fully recommend when you're cutting these that you use something like a guillotine to make sure that you have a straight uh, edge effectively because if you do it this way you're going to conserve material uh, and not waste anything now I'm sliding this in from the back and what I'm looking for is these uh, these knurled sections on the, the roller there because the, the wheels and the clamps that hold the thing in place they need to be above those knurled sections. So I'm just going to place that first one. We have to move it from the back. There's a little uh, an area where we can grab the wheel from the back and I'm placing it over the knurled sections. That one is in place there. This one I just need to bring it across until it's just holding the vinyl in place. So I'm putting the entirety of the wheel there just covering the vinyl and bring this over I know that section is knurled and I'm stopping kind of where these pins uh, are at the edge of the vinyl okay what I've also done you'll notice is that I'm lining up the front of the vinyl with this uh, strip at the front there and I'm going to do that just before I bring this lever up to lock it in place so that's now held in place it's not going to move now we've got in our menu here we can select roll, we can select uh, piece, we can select edge. Okay, what I'm going to do is select piece because it's just a piece and press enter. Now what's happening is the um, device with the cutting blade effectively is moving backwards and forwards and it's measured the uh, material. We can see it's 157 by 149 mil. So the setup on the actual vinyl side of things and on the, the machine side of things is now complete. We're going to move over to 2D design and look at the setup there. So, I've got an image that one of my students has produced, okay, it's just a little uh, shape there, okay. Now looking at this, the one thing I would suggest is uh, the complexity and areas where they, they could cause problems. So, if you see a student has produced things and they've obviously got lines and stuff, we can't have this, it's, it's going to not cut out completely. So I'm looking for areas on the line where there's, there's overlaps and things aren't working. I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up here effectively to make sure that there's a completed contour around the outside. The other thing you can notice that the student's done there is, um, is, is text there is overlapping the edge and the text that he's used is very fine. The font is very fine so it's not going to work very well. It's probably going to get caught up when we try and take it out. So what I'm going to do is just take his um, uh, word there. I'm just going to take that out and I'm going to replace that text with something a little bit uh, larger. Okay, so I'm just going to use the same logo there. I'm using a nice big font. Okay, again, it does depend on the the age of the blade that you're using as to how precise you can go. But I'm going to use a real black because I know this is going to be um, a nice bold chunky font that's not going to cause any problems. Uh, if I take the fill off there, okay, this is ready to go. Okay, another little tip which I think is useful, especially if you're batch producing these vinyls, is to put a box around the outside um, because it means that you can cut out individual vinyls and you can give them uh, to different students. Okay, it's also a good tip I'd say is to set a sheet up with um, the actual maximum sheet size that you're going to put in because it means then you can cut a series of stock sheets. Um, to produce multiple vinyls and it just makes the whole process of uh, manufacturing more products quickly and easily. So there's my design, I'm quite happy with this. Now this has been set up on a previous sheet, you can see it's a very long sheet of material there. Um, we're not going to be using that because as you saw the measurements 157 I think by 149 are a lot smaller. So we're going to go to file and print setup and I'm looking for my uh, cam machine there, there's my Roland GX24 cam one machine and I go into properties. Now what I'm going to do is press this button here get from machine as you can see it's taken those millimeter measurements from before I click OK, I click OK again and it says the layout there is different to what I've just measured, do I want to change it? Yes I do, I change the measurement. Now for some reason I find with our printer there's a little bit of a border area, a bit of a border issue and even though this is what it shows on 2 design, you find the bottom section, normally the left hand side and the bottom right hand side uh, borders doesn't cut quite to the border so I always leave a little bit of space around the outside ideally putting things to the middle or something so that it will output. So that should be okay to output now. I'm now going to go to file 
and CNC output. I go into there. Again, I'm looking for my cam machine there. Again, it's already set, the Roland Cam 1 GX24, and I'm gonna go into tools. Now, there's many ways that you can cut, but what I like to do is cut by color. So obviously, you can only see there's black there. You can obviously have multiple colors with different cut settings as you can on many cam machines, like laser cutters and things like this. But we're just using black, okay? Now, the speed here and the force, okay, is it can be set to various different things and it does depend on a lot of different parameters. It depends on the material you're obviously using, but more importantly, I'd say the age of the blade that you're using, okay? I found starting off the force on this, you could probably end up uh, starting off with a brand new blade of around 50 or 70, I've heard, would still give uh, excellent cuts. The blade we're using is very old, okay? So I'm using a force of 200, okay, or somewhere between 150 and 200 would probably suffice. So I click OK, all my settings are kind of done. All I need to do now is click Output, and then I'm going to move back to the machine. So I'm going to press Output now. As you can see, the knife blade is moving around there, powered by the cam machine, and it's going around the details, as we can see. What we're looking for here, okay, you can see the force is probably a little bit high. There's a few little bumps and stipples there where the blade is probably caught. It could also be the fact that because the blade is older, it's catching. A bit like an old knife blade will not cut effectively through a piece of material. Now, once it's kind of produced this, what we're going to do is just press the down arrow here, or sorry, the uh, menu, at, menu button, and we're going to choose Unsetup by pressing Enter. That takes the uh, knife away like this. I can then push the lever down and remove the material, okay? Now it's a point where you just want to quality control this, but it's not looking too bad, okay? I'm not going to spend lots of time weeding this, but we'll just have a look through it. As you can see, the force is too high there. It's cut actually into the paper. We can reduce that down. There is actually a setting on the front of the machine where you can slightly adjust pen force there as well. If you notice this happens, it could be a little bit quicker. But if I just peel this off, hopefully we'll end up with uh, an outcome that we can kind of see and check. There we go. So that's coming off. That's coming off quite nicely. There we go. Obviously, it's useful to use some sort of weeding tool. I've got another video on there talking about weeding tools uh, on the thing. But as we can see, that's coming out pretty well like that and I'd continue going and obviously I can move this over transfer it to a substrate using low tack tape. 